But this populist wave, we were talking about it with the beginning with, with Brexit, right? Many say that that was sort of telegraphing what would eventually happen in this country with Donald Trump. Uh, do you buy that, that this populist wave is, is, is still gripping the world or is that easing up? I don't know about gripping the world. I think one's got to reflect back from the days when uh, communication changed with the arrival of the computer, uh, Facebook, all these new gadgetries, and then you, an expert on television, the television world was changed. Right. I mean, if I watch the American elections, I've never known uh, television stations spend so much time on politics. It wouldn't be allowed in the United Kingdom. Well, you even um, limit your elections there, right? They can't well, we limit, on and on, we, which I think is a fine idea. Well, we limit the finance that goes into the election. That's the day's difference. You do not limit it. And I think that you... Well, I'm talking to you about the time it takes to go through. It's calling elections 60 days. You know what I mean? It's like, it doesn't yeah. drag on for years. Yeah, well, ours was done in six weeks uh, with a less than $100 million. But um, it is, it, 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 each country has the right to do what they want absolutely, to do. Absolutely, absolutely. You were critical of Donald Trump and the way he handled his health care thing. Um, but you started a, an FT piece not too long ago saying it's a shame that Donald Trump is so proud of not reading for he could learn a great deal about his present predicament over health care by consulting the history books. In other words, that things take time. I think that's what you were saying, right? Well, I only say on the health care, I'll tell you why. I was brought up with a health care bill because in 1946, my father was chairman of one of the major hospitals in London, St. Mary's. And the biggest battle they had for our health care then on the post-war was to get the doctors to agree to spread the difference between private effort and public effort. And that, to me, is something which has to be done. You've got to start with the people that really matter. But no, you can't put it together in weeks or months. No, no, you can't. Right? That's right. It took, uh, took eight years of right. terrific amount of uh, this detail. But if I may say so, uh, you have wonderful medical people here, wonderful doctors, wonderful hospitals. They're the people who should write the majority of the bill. The majority the of them are not happy with the No, because the, they're not the allowed. Now because they're not allowed to participate. But if they, that's why you have to sit down with a committee across the board and look at every angle and help the poor as much as you help the rich. And this is something which I don't think people here who are in charge, right. if I may say, so, realize. Um, your wife, Lady de Rothschild, was a, a very big backer as were you, of, of Hillary Clinton. And even in 2008, didn't flip over Barack Obama. Um, and I'm wondering whether that tension eased or whether she looks back, you look back at the Obama years as good, bad, what? Well, I think he did a pretty good job in certain areas. And obviously, there are certain areas which one can always criticize. But I think one has to be. I think fair. she hated him. You're well. I, w I don't think that's fair because strongly I strongly uh, dislike. Uh, it's not for me to judge you. You should ask my wife directly. <laughs> But you didn't have that. I mean, right, when, in 2008, I assume you like are, were, were supporting Hillary Clinton. Absolutely. And he ended up winning, obviously. And, Absolutely. And, um, but I, I think the film was that it was a missed moment. And yet Hillary Clinton misses it again. You touched on it in, in the end there, or in the beginning, that she might be looking to try again. But parties tend to look to new recruits. You think she's too old for that now? I don't know enough about the system, but I mean, you know, you have such a complicated system here in this country. Right. It's so much complicated. Maybe your election system is as complicated as the Health Care Act. <laughs> you could be right. You know what? You could be right. And I don't know. You, I admire America on many counts, but I think maybe the federal system needs to be looked at independently and rethought. Maybe George Washington, if he was alive today, would be horrified as what has happened. We don't know. Can't ask him. Right? No. Okay. Uh, very good having you, sir. Very good seeing my best to your, your, your beautiful wife, sir. Evelyn de Rothschild.